Hey kids, welcome back to the basement. So today I'm going to be playing Old Royal High Lobbies. I've been playing Old Royal High Lobbies because I'm not really ready for winter yet. And there's a fall update currently going on in this game. So I made so much diamonds in this game today, like so much. I was able to buy the mini skirt and my favorite wings in the entire game. These are my favorite Royal High wings ever. Ever. I just love this game so much because it has all of the old skirts and stuff before they got reworked. And everything is so freaking cheap. It's just so much fun. And there's still chicken heels and the Batman heels went off sale. Like, I've just been having so much fun farming because obviously this method of farming got removed from the game in actual Royal High. So what you're gonna do is teleport to Enchantix High School, but there's actually your own private server for free. Everyone has their own free private server. That, oh my gosh, I don't know. I just thought that was so cool. All game passes are free in this game. Automatically have multipliers and faster flight. See? You automatically have it. If you have an outfit on, make sure you take all your wings off and your skirts off because flying and seeing the diamonds is so much easier when you, like, don't have an outfit on. So yeah, let's just get started. Um, if you have played Enchantix High before and you already know the diamond spots, pause for a second and don't click off the video because there are new diamond spots in this Enchantix High, like older High lobbies. All the diamonds are way easier to obtain. So I'll just show you. So the first thing I do is I grab this one on the fountain and then go like go straight and grab this one and just straight up. I have a very specific way to do it because it's just the fastest way. So now you turn left, grab the green diamond, this pink diamond, and then this would be behind a plant, but because um, they edit the private server to be like easier, the plant is gone. Yeah, they just get rid of everything that is normally in the way of the diamonds in this game which is so nice which is why this is like the farming server anyway once you've got all the diamonds on this side of the map like you already got all the diamonds straight in on this side you go to this thing behind this place and grab it the green diamond from here now i'm gonna fly all the way to this side and grab the one right there the green diamond is in this tree it's just kind of annoying to get and then this diamond in the roof now you get this one from the balcony and i like to get this one from the dorm early because it's so easy to get like the wall is open for some reason i don't know why now you go behind the map like behind all this and grab this one this one and this one so all three of the diamonds in the pool area i do not grab any of the little diamonds because they're only worth six diamonds so yeah then i grab there's a diamond like in this pool like tiny little pool and as you can see the diamonds are starting to respawn i'm not going to grab them yet but now we go underwater and if you go here there's a green diamond there and then directly under where that <laughs> where that green diamond was you go into this little cave and then grab the green diamond here and then you leave the cave and you go straight and then there's another hole like at the top this cave you want to go to this cave and keep going keep going until you see this room right here see how this room has like it's straight but then this one has like a water thing because you're going into like a no water area and then here's the red diamond red diamonds take longer to spawn so and they're worth more anyway now we're gonna leave this water and now we're gonna go to this mermaid pool this is the mermaid pool but you go to this seashell just fly till you see this seashell and then there's a pink diamond here all right and now we're gonna fly out of here if i can find it yeah here and you're gonna start grabbing all the diamonds in each of the dorms and i have a specific ritual for how to do it so with the water dorm you go straight just go into it and then it's to the left right here just to the left and now you're gonna glitch to the back of the dorm it's way faster for me to just glitch out to the back and then have a nice clear path of all the dorms rather than keep on flying in and out, in and out. On this dorm, this is a dark dorm, you're going to glitch to the bottom, to the basement, and grab these two right here. And now you're going to glitch back. Now with this hot pink dorm, this is I think the pop star dorm or something, you're going to glitch to the middle. So not downstairs, not upstairs, but 
to the middle. All right, so now that we're in the second story of the storm, there's a pink diamond here. And it does, there's like an elevator, so it will try to teleport you around if you go through the back. So we're going to teleport through the front, I mean glitch to the front. And now you can glitch to the bottom of the music dorm. And then there's a pink diamond right here. Now you're going to glitch to the back of the dorm. And with the yellow dorm, this yellow room, you glitch to the top. And there you go. And then for the nature dorm, the pink dorm, you glitch to the bottom. Now we're not going to glitch to the back again. We're going to go straight to the fire dorm and just go inside because the diamond's just right there. And then you're in the back again. And first you're going to glitch to the very bottom of this black dorm because there's two dorms right next to each other that, have, that are both the same color. So yeah, you're going to glitch in and grab it from here. So now the next black dorm, you're going to go all the way to the top. Ah! And then once you're in the third story of this dorm, I think this is the creative dorm, there's a pink diamond right here. And now you're going to you're going to glitch to the very bottom of the animal dorm. And then there's a diamond at the bottom and then a diamond right there. And then with the love fairy dorm i'm just gonna glitch to this and then grab it from right there and now you're done with all the dorms and all of the pink and the green diamonds have respawned so you're gonna just do the same thing like the same pattern of going you know straight and then to there and then to there but you the the red diamond hasn't respawned so you don't have to go to the red diamond um and just do the same thing again And once you get to this side, you don't have to go to the back because that diamond won't respawn by now. So, yeah, but you can just go to the back again because these have respawned. And now we are going to go underwater, but the thing is you're only going to grab this one and then back in the cave and grab this one because all of the red diamond hasn't respawned, so you only have to go there. As you can see, the pink diamond has not respawned, so you don't have to go this way. But once you've done all that, you can just switch servers and go back to the private server to reset all the diamonds. Okay, so we just reset the server, and as you can see, all of the diamonds have respawned, including the red diamond and the pink diamond that would be in the mermaid pool all of the dorm diamonds have respawned the dorm diamonds also take about the same amount of time as the red diamonds to spawn so that's why i like to switch the server and just start over but yeah you're just going to do the same exact routine just do the same thing and you can keep on doing the same thing and then reloading the server over and over again and that's how i've been able to make so many diamonds like fourteen thousand is a lot in this in um old royal high just saying what i'm trying to say is basically royal high inflation is real so and i also you know i was also able to buy uh, a skirt and wings in a short amount of time so Anyway, that is basically my, oh, my mic is pointing the wrong way. That's basically my entire routine. And now I have 17,000 when I think I started with uh, 11,000. And now I need to decide if I should just save up my diamonds and buy a bunch of stuff at once. Or if I just want to spend my diamonds right now and buy something. I don't know. Also, I wish that this game would make it so that your outfit saves whenever you switch games, but that might take, um, I don't know if that is more work or something, but yeah. I hope this was helpful if you want to play this game, because honestly, I love this game. It's very nostalgic, so. In the farming server, they remove dorms and class buildings to reduce lag, which is very nice. So that's why when you go into the dorm, there's no freaking furniture when, if you join, like, an actual server the dorm would be there bye kids <laughs>